I have heard a rumor, little rumors, that what begins in the pod must end in the pod. And we are- you're in a pod, I'm in a pod again. I'm, I've got a problem. I've got a problem. I need help. It's just something about dangerous brain experiments that I can't tear myself away from. However, of all the dangerous pod-based brain experiments to give me potentially brain damage, this is very surprisingly not one of them. In another 1.7 days, I will have awakened my latent psychic abilities because today is Operation Big Brain Time. Name pending. I've only just come up with that. Finally, we have cracked the resource code. Although there is a shocking amount of steel coming out of the ground, apparently. And now with all of the steel and all of the technology at our fingertips, I'm going to start making myself a real fearsome weapon. Not just a guy with, with some weapon skills wearing an apron. No, no, no. We haven't got armor. We haven't got turrets. We haven't got defenses or any good weapons. We have 78 who has nothing but a drill. And in fact, she has drills and side of drills. Sadly, our enemies are not enormous rock men tumbling along the ground with their rocky skin and rocky complexion. No, no, no. It's Void. What the hell is she doing in that quarry? But that's not the only thing we have currently, right? In the Biosculptor pod, we have an Arcotech conversion cycle. That would be a fantastic thing to kick things off with, I think. Coming out of the pod and immediately getting the Arcotech body. I like that one. Uh, although everything's a bloody pod. We've got the Psychic pod, we've got the Biosculptor pod, we've got the Gene Tailoring pod, which, don't forget, we're very close to getting the technology to actually just straight up build the other missing machines that we need to make this super effective. And then maybe, dare I say it, we craft some actual armor, some actual equipment to try and fight the enemies with. Even though it's not void right now, they're still doing a number on us. And yes, you may have noticed the meme mod is making a return. The meme mod and all of its 12 different types of coal and fake steel. I'm already done. There was no fanfare or anything. I just popped out. Hello. Psychos. And of course, Psy itself. Look at that. We have two ability slots available. Psy Defense, Psy Trance, Insulation, Serenity, Combat Precognition. Oh my god, this is too much for me to think about. What do you do? You give melee dodge chance plus 15. Oh, so a simple stat boost then. That's cool. Um, I guess we'll go through them all pretty fast. Side defense, 35%. Okay, fair enough. Side trance, rest rate multiplier plus 10%. That's pretty good. Insulation. Funnily enough, insulates you. That's that's amazing. Serenity, minus 5% mental break threshold. Could be very good, especially given this is supposed to be a single colonist playthrough. Melee dodge chance we've seen. Combat insight, melee armor penetration. That's pretty good. We're looking for... I was thinking aiming time would be amazing with my guy. Because of his current powers, that would be kind of nuts. That one's already down by 50%. Then we got range cooldown down by 50%. So if we can use the Psy abilities to drop it again. Oh my god, but precision increases accuracy, which is the one thing we haven't got. Do that. I don't even think I need to read the others. Let's go all in on the combat. Sure, combat intuition it is. That seems good. So those are queued up. We have to actually go into the pod to train those. And again, the more things we queue up, of course, the longer it's going to take. And then you get more research, do more training. Focus mode nodes give you more of these. And they give you stronger abilities over time. You'll get it. As we play, you'll get it. If you've never played this before, it's very simple. It's a very good mod. And maybe not simple is the right word. Intuitive. That's a good word. 78, why are you naked? Really? <laughs> well... Ah, that's, uh, that's really something. I can't really comment on that, I'm afraid. Let's grow some cotton. That would be quite nice. Given that we're eating nutrient paste, I'm sure that all this rice is enough to last a couple of people. What do we need for the Arcotech conversion cycle then? It's 5 kill to 1 medicine, 25 nutrient, 3 advanced components, and oh, 1 persona core. We need a lot of silver if we're going to make that work. Because I don't think there's any other way to get it. We're also going to need another conversion pod. I wonder what happens if I convert me? Oh, shit. Mechanoids are close to obtaining critical mass before they receive a hardware upgrade. Okay. Uh, Void really isn't putting in the work anymore, eh? Shit, they have landed absolutely everywhere. Oh, there's a sealed vault. We might have to fly over and see what they've got. I, I mean, forget about this world ending apocalyptic death bot threat a second. There may be loot over there. Hold on, let's, let's get a bigger carry-all before we do that. Because there's a lot of research to go before we can build all of the ancient technology. Before we could just build our own uh, pod stuff. So if we can go over there and just salvage it, I would be a lot happier. Let's get that research prioritized instead. Hey, Stinky, wake up. I can already see it's going to happen, isn't it? The amount of times I've ignored those bloody carriols, and I'm not going to be able to find them again. What is coal crafting? A oh, Luxie, you swore that coal you have languished in your stockpile. I'll just get rid of it all, in which case I offer you my condolences. We can make a coal bowl. My God, it's beautiful. Such a glorious union between all the various coal bowls has created this mag... Mag mag majestic vessel. Even not even a legendary statue of the purest gold could hope to match the beauty of this. Is it actually high beauty, though? 
69,420. Very good. Fine. Fine. Give me the coal bowl. You think you're just so funny, don't you? You think you're absolutely hilarious. I mean, luckily, I haven't sold all of the coal because we haven't had a coal trader. How the hell do I make coal bowl? <laughs> Why am I even asking that question? <laughs> maybe uh, maybe an R station? For God's sake, why? We've got void to worry about. What the hell am I messing around with coal bowls for? Coal bowl. Coal bowl. Well, there is everything but a bloody coal bowl. Phonograph, pendulum clock. This is all for, again, Operation Flex on Void. Something we won't have for a while. Can make a big statue of myself. Oh, well, I mean, is there? there's only one thing for it, right? Big old concrete baby. I take that back. Concrete baby. Me. Because it's, it's a statue of me. Piss off. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> so it wasn't an episode yesterday, so I'm staying up very late today to make sure there's an episode today. I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Oh, what the hell do you mean? That is a really huge explosion. Wow. Oh my god, it couldn't have blown up anywhere better. It seems to have blown up and replaced the steel with gold? What the hell? Excellent. Thank you. Oh yeah, no, that's worked perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Oh, we bought another deep drill, though. That's cool. Um, I'm just going to put that right there. Is that supposed to be 78? Uh, concrete Grand Statue of Colonist. Edit. Copy from Colonist. 78. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. No, that's amazing. <laughs> Why has this happened? Copy from me? Confirm. Oh, I look fine. Well, a little bit too chiseled, but I look fine. I mean, maybe it's just an enormous YouTube-friendly sensor box, given that 78 has been naked for days now. I haven't got any textiles to make her an outfit out of. That's not my fault. Asses are clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, there's underwear right there. Put the fucking underwear on, you weirdo. Uh, equip underwear? Force wear. Simple underwear. There you go. It's invisible. Amazing. Make big coal bowl at the fabrication bench. Why do we make regular coal bowls? I don't know. Oh, maybe we have to get a load of coal bowls and then we combine them together. It better not be a bloody quest reward. We've got a trader. Hello there. This could be massive because we've got so much stuff to actually barter with and sell now. Hello. New training I need for that Arcotech conversion cycle. They've only got five gods of one medicine. That's all right. We'll make it work. Uh, I thought that said gene pack coal. And I almost burst a blood vessel in my eye. Ooh, multi-chamber stomach is actually a great idea if it affects... Oh, hunger rate times 80%. Well, that's really good. No food poison chance either. Eat less meals. It's genius. You want to buy some... Oh, we don't need the medium machine primes anymore, do we? We'll sell those. Uh, you uh, Just take anything. Take, take some LTEX. You love LTEX, right? I've actually uh, added a little tinkering of my own. I thought what bigger flex is there than building tables out of... Solid LTEX. Maybe we'll wait a little while on that one, though, because that will blow up our colony wealth. And that will, in turn, have our base blown up. Yeah, take a stomach. Oh, 13 medical. Oh, shit. We can't even make the bloody stomach. How far am I off of that? Oh, miles away. Oh, great purchase. Really, just big brain. So the only thing we're lacking for the architect conversion cycle is the Persona Core. And there is a Persona Core crafting research right on cue. Is that, wait, is that actually it, though? AI programming unlocks Persona Core. God knows if we... I, I think this is the one that uses Luciferium to craft it, so we can't do it unless we go to that vault, because there's a chance there's Luciferium in the uh, Hermetic crates. Which can the carrier carry? 450 kilograms. That's probably enough. Oh. Send 78? No, send me. Just send me. I'm going to travel across this bloody hell planet. I'm either going to be shut down by the mechanoids or void. It's right next to that enormous troop ship. Okay. Are you hostile? Ooh, friendly one. I might want to bring that back with me. Where are you landing? Hurry up with that. We've got, we got things to do. Medicine. Hello. Oh my god. Shit loads of medicine too. Wow. We've got loads of steel. Some more meals there. Let's, let's go ahead and hack and get another vault. Just in case we have to leave this one in a hurry. Because if the N4 infected turn up at the base, I'm going to have to fly back bloody fast. Oh wait. We've had this vault before, right? Was this in the first episode? Before I was rescued by 78, that we, we we got trapped in a vault, if I remember correctly. And then Joris the Brave, bless his sweetheart, good, managed to save my life. I miss him. I miss him so. He was the best of us. We'd have won by now if Joris the Brave was still here. Oh! Empowered Super Nanite Injector. Oh, shit. 
I didn't realize those could just spawn in randomly. We've got a stabilized mucus inducer. Do we already have one of those? Doesn't look the same as anything else. Well, I guess that one can come back with me then. Okay, there we go. So we do need some of these things. We'll take these with us too. And then we need a, another one of those for two total. We've already got two of those, so we don't need to take that one with us. I guess we'll take that apart and see if we can get the nanites out of it. I think they might break. Oh no, we do actually get them back. Nice. Are you fucking joking? No, no, don't start doing this again. I looked away for 30 bloody seconds and the base seems to have burned down. I hate them. God, I hate them so much. The memes are going again. They're banned. <laughs> There's another one of the fucking things. Execute. Execute the elephant with the drill. You know what you have to do. This is for the sanctity of the base. God, I've never felt... That was the best moment of my life. Did you see that? Oh, and the carryall's back just in time to see the base singed. We do have an exotic goods trader. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not entirely sure because there's a lot of changes to the traders. But I'm pretty sure that's where we got, oh my god, they've got an Isilinia processor. But I'm pretty sure that's where we got the Air Persona call last time, right? I'd really like that. But it's very expensive. <laughs> uh, they have, oh, we could sell super nanites. Oh man, okay, that can make a lot of money. They've got a silent neuroformer. Oh, that's cool. We got Techcroft. They do have a Persona Core. It's 5,600. Oh, shit. We've, all, we've picked up a lot of silver, clearly, from the uh, from the deep drills we've got set up, though. Okay, how the hell am I going to afford this? I think there's also another research thing that uses a Techcroft, so I'd like to buy that as well. Dryad face. Me too. The hell is that? X perception implant. Learning speed is higher. Mental break threshold is lower. Consciousness, sight, research. It's a void implant. It's only 2,000. Add it to my shopping list. <laughs> Futuristic Great Pyramid. Oh, old screen television for better rim rim consumption. Ah! And a telescope. Okay, all right. You know what? That's enough. I'm sure we can sell enough to cover this, though, because we've, we've picked up some really crazy stuff from that vault. We've got, like, Altex lying around, because that's one thing we can actually drill up from the uh, plasma drills. I don't think I need this many components here. You can have those. I don't need the uh, chip. Don't need the mechanoid components right now. We can always make more. Again, same applies to that. Picked up a lot of uranium. Holy shit, those deep drills are going a little bit too hard. I'm worried about a colony wealth, but you know what? In this situation, it's actually working out really well. Let's go for some... Oh my god, we can actually afford it. Holy shit. Um, god damn, do I want to buy anything else? I didn't think I'd be able to afford any of that. Death rest... I, honestly, I should start buying the death rest capacity serum, because eventually, when we get the quest, I'll become a sanguophage. Maybe we could just buy the... Uh, dream pack, that's the word. I think. I hope. This is the easiest sale of my life. You know what? We could buy her some clothes. Oh. Oh, this is premium room room time. Oh, look at that. It feels a little bit mismatched, the uh, chairs and the TV in that room. That's a bit weird. So this is accidentally ginormous. Did you seriously steal all the clothes and wear them yourself? You are a monster of a man. You are a monstrous beast of a man. Oh my god, the camera. I'm sorry. I won't say that again. Jesus Christ. I didn't realize you had friends. Oh, so this is actually enormous, right? Because now we can build the med pod, which means next time our limbs fall off, in fact, we can regenerate all the 78 limbs right now. And have we got the power for it? We've got 61,000 watts excess. I did actually overpower this plasma drill. You can increase the wattage to 10,000. It'll mine 300% speed, which is uh, clearly working out well for us, right? Furniture, med pod locks. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. Make it out of concrete, baby. What a waste of perfectly good concrete. <laughs> so she's missing a lung, a kidney. I, I, you know what we can do? We can take off the peg legs, throw her in the thing. <laughs> I should probably specify, sorry. Remove part leg. Just typing in peg and wondering why well, that's not working isn't really much of a shocker. Sorry. Did you see that? that remove parasitic implantation. Oh, right, for when you lay eggs in people. Yes, I did do an entire series about that. I haven't forgotten. Uh, let me borrow some legs here, and then we can regrow normal fleshy human legs instead of little peg legs. Then as soon as that's done, 78's back on fighting form. I will trust her to run the base while I get into the pod and do an Arcotech conversion cycle. We've got everything we need. Duration, 64 days. Shit. Transhumanists are down to 32. I, um, is my character transhumanist? I believe you are. Uh, hang on. It happens if you check the right one. You're right. Okay, so it's only going to take 32 days. Then we overload it with all the nutrition in the world. And then we can do it like a thousand percent faster. So that would only take, what, like three days? In theory. Assuming it scales up like that. Oh shit, but look, we've still got 25 meals in there. If I just do that, it takes it instantly. It slurps it down. That's actually so cool. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Okay, overload it entirely then. 
Suck all the meals into it, my guy. That That is so cool. 2,000% because we've just overloaded it. That's insane. Bear in mind, it doesn't take 2,000% 2, speed, but I presume it doesn't take 2,000 nutrition. Maybe it does, or 2,000% of what it would be normally. Right, med pods online. How much power does this thing consume? 48,000 watts. That's actually not as bad as I thought. I mean, it's ludicrous, but it's not as bad as I thought. Uh, put you in the med pod. Med pod, med pod. Can I just carry her and drop her in manually? Maybe. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, you read my mind. It's like we're the same person. Oh, God, and it, it's, re it's really growing everything. Left legs. It's going to regrow it piece by piece. Well, this is actually amazing. To celebrate, I had him... Oh, I know people will probably complain. I had him make a uh, statue of 78. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. I think she's going to love that. <laughs> Shit, we might actually be unstoppable. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, unless our heads are blown off, at which point we're very stoppable. I say that, but that didn't stop 78, did it? Uh, her toes are coming back. You want tasty little toesies. And then she's good as new. Oh, my God. She actually is as good as new. 157 moving up from double peg leg town. Oh, wait, shit. I should take her arms off, too, because they're just prosthetics. AI programming. Yeah, no, we don't need that anymore. I'm sorry. The ship has sailed. We really just don't need that anymore. What a waste. <laughs> uh, give me your, give me your shoulders. I'm not using glass of medicine. I did disable that. Oh, thank God. I actually thought ahead for once in my life. There, there we go. Thumbs are back. Right arm. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is actually nuts. And good as new again. Holy shit. 146% manipulation. You're telling me there's a chance, though. Now, for you, big man, let's throw you in 35 days. But again, it's overloaded. So, in theory... So, that's just for the next, the next one that you do, right? So, in theory, I get in there and you'll be done in, like, one and a half days. Samuel will collect five kills of all medicine, 25 new training, three advanced components, one persona core, and begin an Arcotech conversion cycle. Oh, this is catharsis. This right here is catharsis. 1.7 days. I was basically bang on. This is so good. Lots of long-term plays all working together at this point. The nutrient pace network, the research, the rice, the resources, everything. Right down to the very grains. Oh, my God. And she's super fast in the quarry now, too. Oh, and she's also transhumanist, right? So she's going to be like Methuselah 12. I mean, I think she probably already had that anyway. Man, look at how happy she is. This is so good. I don't think I've seen a green mood bar in so long. What begins in the pod must have a pod in the middle of the episode. Hi, I'm Rimmel Catharsis, and this is Rimmel Catharsis. Today, today we ascend. I welcome Void. Please stay away. Stay away from me. Yep, there it is. I suppose we'll just stick that on the to-do list. You know what? I'll put it right at the top. As soon as we can do it, that's the first thing he'll do. I could make, like, Arcadius's heart for me. I mean, I made them. So why can I not have them be a part of me? They're indisputably a part of me. What the hell is a Bugsy skin gland? What, is, what does this do? Moving, armor, beauty minus one. Clearly you didn't watch the series and you certainly haven't seen the fan art channel. I mean, me and Rim Rim are indivisible at this point. Maybe I do add in Fat Larry's stomach and General Joe's spine. I become my own monster. What the hell is that thing? Galaxy Trade Group Alpha Mod. I don't even know what that is. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. I've got respect for that. Somebody somewhere has her in the coagulator to Upsy Daisy Vampire Healy implant. I can't argue with that. I'm going to be a completely different person by the end of this episode. I, I mean, shit, arguably they both are already. Oh, I thought there was another raid. Hold on. But we haven't smashed any more ships. Does that mean they've got the upgrade then? Uh, Void, if you could put some work in, fellas. Oh my god, another orbital trader. Hello there. I, I'm curious what tech level we're at now. Because you've got to imagine being able to turn yourself into an Arcotech is probably quite a high tech level. But I don't think there's a way to find out maybe in... Bruh. Pinpoint the exact moment we <laughs> we build the deep drills. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Well, this next raid's gonna hurt. Um, I think we need the vanilla research screen to find out what tech level we are. So we could be a target of Void right now. I'm not sure. And here I am. Me 2.0. Boom. Hello there. My Arcotech cycle is complete. What's it done for me? Oh, I'm just totally Arco man now. Arcotech, jaw Arcotech knows. Oh, look at this. I mean, I understood what the words Arcotech conversion cycle meant. Holy crap, though. 
<laughs> Holy shit. Architect stomach. Oh my god, it has a bunch of other stuff too. It's not just simply a case of part efficiency. How much damage multiplied down by 2%. Injury healing factor up 20%. Make bandwidth. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> to be fair, you need an AI persona call for it. And then normally it would take you 60 days, but of course we spent all the nutrition in the world. Oh. Oh, this is amazing. Well, if Void weren't angry at us before, they bloody will now. Let's go for the advanced multi-analyzer. And I'm also pretty sure we can build another linkable research bench with the tech prof, right? Uh, it's this one. Yeah, look at that. We can. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't think I've got enough room. There's a lot of crap random to this research room. Oh, and speaking of crap to fill up the research room with, thank you. I'll take that. Cortical stacks. Oh, my God. There's the carry-all I wanted. You know what we need? We need turrets, actually, if that's all right. I think I'll go for gunpowder. And then maybe into gunsmithing, and then maybe into turrets. Is this seriously what's been holding us back all this time? Gunpowder. Sad part is I'm fairly certain that was actually the only thing holding us back here. Oh, well, I mean, it wasn't holding us back for long. Jesus, that is fast. Holy crap. Artificial ecosystems actually would be nice, because I just threw down some bloody hydroponics that we can now replace. This is actually too fast. Uh, protein extraction for essentially nanocellular engineering. Sure. Luciferium camera systems. Oh, come on. Gunsmithing. Launch systems. That's a good start. I accidentally left research. Aut automatic research never and he did it before I could stop him. Oh, what a good sign, though. Repulsive technology for some actual shields. No, I'd really like guns, though. Fine. Medieval torch, man. Oh, it opens up so much stuff. Antigrain technology. Nuke void. All right, come back here. Come back here and nuke void. Learn to craft the warhead shell. Thank you. Thank you. I really will. Uh, space and melee. Again, I love it. I think it's a fantastic idea to turn 78 into the melee character. Go juice. I do love go juice. Specialist war caskets. Oh, a stalic throne. Oh, there's, there's the, uh, uh, an obscenely good war casket. And it has to be my goal. It has to be. Oh, gunsmithing. Actual real human gunsmithing. Thank you. Finally, we're on the path to some bloody turrets. Tidal power. No, 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 no. Turrets, turrets, turrets. Royalty weapons. No, I need bloody turrets. Give me the ambrosia. Oh, marine armor. Oh, I suppose it's something. It's something defensive. Where are the N4? Why have we not had any raids? I guess it's because the uh, ship landings count as... Oh, yeah, they count as incidents. I hope that doesn't put it on cooldown or anything. No, because look, we had enemy raid and then ship landing frigate. That wasn't that long ago, right? Day 118, 133. What the hell are they doing? Shall I just get him to send it? Just like total automatic research, go mad for it. Yeah, you know what? Surprise me. Surprise me. Bring me turrets. I'm leaving it totally in your hands. I mean, it's so bloody fast. So it's probably slower for me to be clicking through everything manually. Medical torture methods. Thank you. That's really, <laughs> that's really what we need. Fuck off. No, I saw that happening. Get out of my base. No, bring the drill. Execute this elephant. Don't you try it. Oh, it's, it's the coolest. It is the coolest mod anyone's ever made. The, that's the, I don't think I need to say it, right? That's the melee animation mod made by Epic Guru. It, it looks incredible. I got to see a preview for it long before the mod came out, and it looked insane. Uh, same person behind the What's That Mod mod. And, of course, uh, Antimatter Annihilation that I've used to know it. I believe also the same mod that added very briefly the zoo counter for my zoo series, which I appreciated massively. It's just such a cool mod. Uh, for God's sake, go out there and thank the modders, damn it. Go give them a like on their thing at the very minimum. Go thank them for all their hard work making explosive elephants that burn down my stockpiles and give me undue amounts of stress. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Nah, you can reroll that one. Of course I can reroll research that we really just do not give a shit about. Oh, cool. He's blitzing through this too fast. My friend, you are you are inviting Void to our doorstep. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, these are really cool. The Mechanome Utility Packs. Very, very powerful utility packs, which we should craft, like, right now. Spacer props. Oh, yeah, that's the important one. Thank God we've got that. Oh, no. I thought that was a raid, but it wasn't a raid. Why are they ignoring me? I'm ready for the fight now. Come back. Yes. <laughs> Matter weaving. Hey, stop having a bath. We've got stuff to do. Come on, we're right on the precipice of greatness here. Get back on it. Just find me some gun turrets. All right, I'll stop being lazy. Okay, fine. I'll do it myself. Flamethrower, deep wells. Yeah, blah, blah. Ooh, okay, defense emplacements. That's something. Mending would be really good. I'd have been able to repair that bloody armor that we started with. 
gorse weaponry. You know what? Before we carry on, maybe we'll make some armor. If we thought about making some armor, we got marine armor, right? Uh, prestige marine armor. Yeah, that'll do it. Close combat armor and close combat helmet for 78. Given that that's going to be her thing, right? Well, unless there's gun turrets in this reroll. Okay, forget about it then for a while. Let, let's get on with making some actual defenses that we can craft right now. Oh, yes. Oh, this is a step up. I mean, I love the drill, but we're going to have to swap that out for something a bit more effective. Look at that, though, eh? And, and 78 has a high-power shield belt and mechanoid combat gear and close combat armor, all giving her different shield layers. Granted, Void will again rip through it in about two seconds flat. Oh, shit, I've got legendary gear being produced. Well, to be fair, I've got 23 crafting. I don't know why that's such a surprise. Next thing, clearly, we need some guns. What's the best gun we can make right now? Let's just go DPS over accuracy. I guess, really, accuracy probably isn't so relevant. Just go for... Ooh, Dusk Mag. What the hell is that? Hello. Dusk Mag. There you are. I wonder if the l SMG is more powerful in the hands of a very powerful Psycaster, though. Because I, I was told that the, uh, the, the benefits from that aren't shown on the weapon itself, so it's probably harder to figure it out. Mm, but that does look pretty fancy. Oh my god, it was also legendary. We didn't even get notified about it. Holy shit, look at the range on it. Oh my lord. And then let's shoot it again. Okay. You know what? I think that's fine. I think that's totally acceptable. Thank you. I'm sure there's something we could do instead of, say, like this gun that fires non-stop with my aiming time and the range and blah, blah, blah. There's probably a much more sensible option than just going for pure damage. That is a lot of damage you could put out, though. My god. Oh, built the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Why did you just build the fire extinguisher? <laughs> I know what you're going to say. I know exactly what you're going to say because everybody says it every single bloody time. What's uh, DPS here? Dusk saw. Oh, I really like the drill, though. I'm not going to lie to you. What, what is it? Just a chainsaw. It was just a chainsaw. I love chainsaws. Colonists are gathering to celebrate Samuel and 78's marriage. Oh, you can stop working on the chainsaw. No! I just wanted to stop him working so that he could go and have his marriage. Oh, okay, fine. Sorry, carry on with the chainsaw then. My bad. One day I'll be able to turn that bedroom into an enormous luxurious bedroom with a four-poster bed made of solid l -Tex. But not today. Oh, let's have a look. Is it... Yeah, okay, that, that does strike much more fear into my heart, I will admit. Now for my next trick. We have, uh, I saw them the other day, embrasures hanging around somewhere. Oh, look, we've got these, uh, like, concrete embrasures. <laughs> Baby. Or we can build citadel embrasure walls. Just gotta be careful we don't basically give Void more cover than they need. Ah, uh, costs a lot of steel, but we do have a lot of steel. Can I build it out of... <coughs> L6, what a flex. We can build it out of concrete. What if we just like... What if we just like really thicken it up though? What if we just go a bit crazy with it? Put a solid wall around the whole mountain? <laughs> That's a bit too much steel. That is an amazing perimeter though. 64,000 steel. It's a little on the expensive side, I will admit. Granted, we won't be able to fill all of that. Oh, but to be fair, there's also that enormous lake that's going to stop us building. Put down a bunch of fucking bridges too. That would look amazing though, wouldn't it? Oh, don't tempt me like this. No, this is... This is borderline madness. This is real... Oh, I just love build base, though. This is, like, almost Operation Flex on Void level of insanity, isn't it? Really is just truly mad. Oh, I can't even build over that nuclear waste. Wow, it's almost like it's nuclear waste or something. Wait, well, hang on. Nothing can bridge over that. Oh. Oh, come on, really? Shit, there was that terraforming thing. We could just, like, replace the terrain uh, with some lovely, I don't know, packed dirt. Oh, you're telling me there's a chance. Ooh. Ooh. What do we need? It's, it's just wood. Wait, is that just it? Well, hang on. Work on that for me. Holy shit, it's, that's that simple. I mean, I deserve it. I mean, look at all the research I've done. Hey, get to work. Get to work. You're a construction man now. Now, realistically, we don't need to replace the mountain with steel. That seems a bit pointless. And bear in mind, we're using Combat AI 5000. Kill boxes don't work. Standard tactics don't work. This might not be such a stupid strategy when you consider we're just going to cover the whole base in one big defensive layer. How much steel was that? 48,000. To be fair, we've already got 11,000 from the drills in the quarry. Can I build it out of coal? <laughs> Hold on. This is big brain time. What if we forbid the outer layer? Uh, more, hang on, circle? 
and then... Oh, no, you can't do it. That's unfortunate. I was hoping I could forbid the outer layer first, and then we slowly build it out further and further. But you know what? God damn it, commit to it. Carry on. Node Trader. I don't even know what the hell that is. Let's have a look. Ooh, surprises. I do love surprises. Hello. Node Trader. What, what is that? Oh. Blue node, green node, red node, violet node. What do they do? Strange device that pulses when touched. Oh, shit. Oh, use it to make, uh... Maybe some bionics? I really have no idea. I'll go leg, I'll go stomach. I think we got that, I think we got that covered, thank you. I will buy some more Glitter Medicine and Altex if you've got it so that eventually we can convert 78 over. Hold on, Architect node. I don't know why any of this stuff does. I'll buy it, sure. I mean, why not? We got the money. Oh, we don't actually have the money right now yet, but uh, take, take some Altex and piss off. I think we're gonna need far more hauling bots if we're gonna make this work at any sort of speed. Preferably within 30 or 40 episodes. I'm gonna be honest with you, as much as I'd like to see this finished by today, this is going to be our real long-term goal. But I would love to see Void get through this. Well, they probably will, won't they? It's Void. Now, I'd like to reiterate simply, I don't make the rules. You know it. What begins in the pod must end in the pod. 27% chance of failure. Oh. Oh, I'll take it. I will take that. I think that's the lowest chance we've had yet. And this is like the fourth consecutive superpower. Unfathomable progress today. We've got armor. We've got weapons. We've got utility packs. We have a, a, a thickened wall surrounding this base. So impenetrable that Void will never get through it. Uh, until they do. Thank you for joining me. The, the foundation has been very much light over the past few episodes. So you know what? God damn it. We deserve to do some silly projects. I do like build base. Thank you, as always, to the incredibly patient patrons for allowing this series and the channel to exist in the first place. Apologies that there was no episode yesterday. I had a lot of house, uh, again, just more house sorting out to do. Furniture to be built, that type of crap, while we slowly get to grips with everything. But it is genuinely almost done. But by this time, by next week, I think I'll be pretty much completed with everything, which would be quite nice. Thank you, in the meantime, of course, to Sabat. Fancy Singularity, Tenacious Bloom, O Trash Panda, Sir Thomas Q, Jim Stevenson, Crow Skull, Freaking Satan, Michael Nichols, Brot McToast, Cheese King 21, Lord Gator, Buen Gun, Cataphract, Torius, Silent Sentinel, I Doge, Alto, Chocolate Milkman, Could Be Sleep, Secret, R9971234, Captain Lieutenant Rimbo, Mega Oscar Pone, I Don't Know, I Just Vibe, One Who Knocks, and ghost hawk as well i've completely finished the other patreon list so thank you for joining me we will leave it there for today come back tomorrow and if you've got any suggestions for mad science as always i'm all ears although we've got quite a lot on our plate right now so go easy with it